Since 2014, Blue, a signature audio company that specializes in microphones, sold an iconic standard for high quality desktop mics. In June of 2017, Saul Tech Reviews bought the black variant of the Yeti for around $130 on Amazon. Our goal was to get the best audio possible for the lowest price. Before the video officially starts, all of the audio for this review and many others have been recorded on the Blue Yeti Blackout Edition. While the YouTube compression doesn't do it justice, I'm hoping that by the end of this video, you will come to the conclusion that Blue did a terrific job on this mic to get a perfect balance of price and quality. While audio quality is of main concern when it comes to buying a microphone, I am awfully surprised at the build quality of the Yeti. The black aluminum feels solid and hefty. This is one mic that won't move even if you knock into it on accident. All of the buttons are very tactile except for the headphone volume knob. I'll get to that in a second. Overall, I'm very surprised by the, how terrific the build quality on this $130 mic. The only interface of controlling the Yeti without external software is the dedicated buttons. One is for headphone and volume adjustment, another is for mute. The next pair of dials is for microphone gain and pickup patterns. By the way, pickup patterns or polar patterns are directions that the mic picks up sound from. For example, cardioid is a directional pickup pattern. It picks up the sound from the front and tries to cancel out anything from the sides or behind the microphone. For comparison, microphones like the Rode Video Micro have a cardioid pickup pattern. The Yeti comes with four pickup patterns. I personally only use cardioid and this is what the video is being recorded on right now, as the rest don't really fit my needs. However, the vast amount of pickup patterns means that the Yeti will have a mode for almost everyone. I have only two complaints when it comes to buttons and dials. The headphone volume dial feels very light and kind of cheap compared to the pickup pattern dial which has an incredibly tactile feedback. It's kind of a shame. I would also like to know the actual decibels the mic is recording at, which is crucial for a mic that markets itself as a professional audio device, instead of a vague dial that doesn't even show which side is the minimum volume and which side is the maximum volume. Last but most importantly, audio quality. Audio quality is something that makes or breaks a microphone. After all, a microphone is made for recording audio. Just to let you know, I am by no means an audiophile, however the small army of microphones I have bought is good enough evidence for me to tell you that this is the best microphone for under $130. On the surface, the audio from the Yeti sounds pretty similar, at least for my non-audiophile ears, as a $40 Mauno lavalier microphone. However, where the Yeti truly shines is how much you can push the audio. The fact that I can crank up the gain by more than 10 decibels, not that I ever would, is an impressive feat. This is especially useful if you had gain on opposite side you intended. For example, because the audio gain dial has no markings, you might expect a 75% gain, but only get a 25% gain because you turned the dials to the opposite side. When you finally realize this horrifying mistake in post, you can crank up the audio back up to the point where you can hear the audio easily. In conclusion, Blue has done a truly remarkable job on creating a microphone that I can strongly recommend as the best value desktop microphone. If you are on the continuous hunt for a high quality desktop mic that does not break the bank, I would look no further than the Yeti, especially in the sleek and sophisticated looking Blackout Edition variant of the mic. Thank you guys for watching, if you liked this video click the like button, if you loved it click the subscribe button. See you guys in the next one, goodbye.